Allow me to paint a picture for you all. It's a Monday evening and you're driving up to Goodman campus for your practice. As you drive through Mountaintop Drive, there are no leaves on the trees, the sky is cloudy and gray, and there seems to be no life around. For most, this generates a gloomy feeling and a lack of motivation. Now one can imagine how this can be negative, especially when driving on your way to practice. For me, as I've made this drive many times, I have come across a piece of art that brings back life to the environment and regenerates my motivation as I drive past it. Solar Yellow by John Foster is the sculpture and that radiates a special energy that prepares me to attack the day. John Foster is a local artist that produced several large scale sculptures in the Allentown area. Solar Yellow is a sculpture that is brightly painted in saturated yellow. However, Foster has created the same sculpture in red and blue as well. Because he tends to create sculptures of more neutral colors, Solar Yellow stands out brightly among the rest. In addition, it is made out of very large cylindrical steel tanks which create this abstract sculpture. When you first look at the art piece, one might notice how the inside looks dirty and or rusty. To me, I notice how, despite this, the sculpture is still standing strong and bright in color. As an architecture major, I see new structures every day, so being able to observe this sculpture in particular boosts my creative thinking. I personally enjoy looking at these works of art, whether they are located on Packard campus or on the drive to Goodman campus. I always take a moment to appreciate the creativity and fine art produced from various artists. Solar Yellow is not a brand new art piece as it was created in 1993. As we know, the world is constantly evolving and there are new state of the art buildings, facilities, structures, and architecture all around us. At times, people become so engulfed in the present technology and architecture, but it is crucial to recognize the sculptures like Solar Yellow that paved the path for what we see today.